model selection. So model selection is all about choosing the best fitting nucleotide model uh, or the models of the molecular evolution. So as I told you, you, you need a right balance, you know. So as the model become more relaxed or more general, you are going to have a lot of parameters that parameters can change, right? So that means it becomes a lot more complicated. So as the error. So each additional parameters improve the fit of the model to the data. So that fit is increased. At the same time, error is also increased, you know. So when confronted with the model choice, that means which equation to choose from. So complicated models might not be the most appropriate. Even the solutions with the, you know, the whatever the problems that we face in our everyday life. Most complicated solution, one simple example is, uh, one simple example is, let, suppose you drink alcohol, you know, and then one of the complicated, the most complicated, I would say, is that you go with a very expensive medical insurance that also covers, uh, you know, the, the liver transplantation. And with that justification in your mind, you continue drinking. Do you think that is a very good solution? No. So complicated solution might not be optimal. You know, the simple solutions might be elegant and uh, more, much more profound rather than going for the complicated solutions. You know, so there is a concept in philosophy called Occam's Razor. That is the same thing, you know. So here uh, in Occam's Razor, the idea is that the simple model like a K2P or a Felsenstein 84 fits the data not significantly worse than a more complex model than the former should be preferred. You know, sim the, the fit. So is, is the difference statistically significant or not? That is a question here. How significant is the difference between the fit? There might be little better fit in a very complicated model, but just because of little bit teeny twat uh, you know, a, a better fit. Should you go with a really complicated model that substantially increases the error rate? So that is why this, uh, the principle of this, um, you know, the this uh, Occam's razor is really important. I love this principle a lot. It has got a huge application. It's not merely for the molecular systematics, everyday life or investment decisions, you know, consumer, uh, what to buy, what product to buy, you know, everything. It's like all pervasive. You know, number one razor of philosophy, highly useful for our everyday life, you know, Occam's razor concept. So uh, one example is like the, the uh, you know, the real razor. So if two razor shave will give you a very nice shave, why to go for three razor, uh, you know, shaving razors or four razor? Even in the market, you can see that even there are razor with six blades, seven blades. In, in Amazon India, you can see that. And if you go in uh, Amazon, uh, you know, German, you can see even 12 blade razors. Are you mad? Why you want this 12 blade razor? You know, from one blade to two blade, it might little bit increase, uh, you know, the comfort. Now, two to three, the, the increase is very less. You know, then why you want to go for a five blade razor? If even one blade uh, doesn't cut your face, uh, you know, like uh, your grandfather, so as my grandfather might have shaved with just one blade razor, the straight cut razor. You know, even today it's very popular. And it gives you a, sh a, a close enough shave. Why you want to go for, why simply increasing the complexity just by becoming prey of this consumeristic lifestyle, isn't it? That is, uh, that is really interesting. So goodness of fit is very key. Model and the data. So how good is the fit? Right. So there are standard statistical techniques to judge the fit of different models for the given data set. That is called goodness of fit test. If you remember, we discussed this goodness of fit test uh, way back in um, uh, statistics. So one of the simple tests is chi-square test, you know, chi-square test of uh, goodness of fit. You can use that test. Another test is called hierarchical Likelihood ratio test, HLRT, which is very commonly used in uh, in a software called PAUP, P-A-U-P. Uh, unfortunately, PAUP is only for the, the Mac computer, Apple Mac, and uh, much better than PAUP, of course, uh, PAUP is not free or it's very expensive. And there are so many better alternatives for uh, Unix-based systems uh, or Linux systems and as well as for Windows systems. Mega is one of the very simple and pretty efficient 
software you know so for mega they use a slightly different approach that is maximum likelihood based model selection is what is being used so what is this hlrt test so basically likelihood ratio test so the formula is very simple 2 multiplied by uh, likelihood of first model minus likelihood of a uh, second model so usually the second model is basically zero first model is one so the second model is a null model null hypothesis while first one is alternative hypothesis so maximum log likelihood of the parameter rich complex model the alternative hypothesis uh, and l0 is max log likelihood of the less parameter rich simple model the null hypothesis so basically this is also based on the likelihood the maximum likelihood so both methods are quite simple and of course uh, you can do this uh, test online also like uh, the the darwin uh, you know uh, this is basically the server in a spain based server uh, you can actually check it out this kind of uh, uh, you know the the selection of the best fitting model so basically what is likelihood we have uh, introduced this concept way back when we discussed about the bayesian theorem isn't it uh, in the probability and statistics so likelihood is that given contrasting explanations or models for the data which explanation is more likely you know for example uh, there is an aircraft disaster so explanation number one is that aircraft was hit by lightning strike second explanation the weather pattern changed it went into a storm third explanation is that there is a terrorism inside the aircraft Fourth explanation is that it is it has been shot down by a missile attack. So we have lots of explanation and out of this, which one to choose? So you can actually use the maximum likelihood for that. So each of these explanations, you have to calculate the likelihood score and then choose with the one with maximum of that score, you know. So we can calculate the likelihood of each of these explanation and choose with the one with the maximum likelihood score. So likelihood, by the way, it means that probability of the data given a particular model. So that is a pipe symbol, probability of data given model. So likelihood always calculate the probability of data to get this data. So, you know, in this uh, phylogenetics, the data is usually multiple sequence alignment. So to get this alignment, what is basically uh, the probability? You know, that is what this calculates. So probability of data is likelihood and the reverse is called, uh, you know, Bayesian approach, likelihood of the model given the data, you know. So that is basically probability of model given data, that is PMD. So MD is basically the Bayesian inference, while DM is basically the likelihood estimate, okay. So likelihood means the probability of data given the model. So model means probability of... Uh, 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 either the model means that under the model or hypothesis or explanation that we are considering and the data can also be called it as observed data or outcome right the outcome right so that is what uh, this particular likelihood approach is so one of the simple uh, you know uh, uh, example which we already introduced in uh, in the last module of this uh, probabilities uh, consider a sack full of coins you know so the sack has got two kinds of coin, right? So half of the coins are normal coin, that is fair coin, you know? So fair coin means that uh, the coin is minted properly that 50 percentage probability to fall on head and 50 percentage probability to fall on the tail. <clears throat> so it is not, uh, you know, tweaked the coin, right? So of course you can make coins such a way that you know, such a way that uh, it it ha it falls most often on head or tail, whatever you want to prove it. How how do you do that? You can take the same coin. The you know usually the coin lands on the side with high density. So on the top you can put. I mean you can just combine two materials. You know high density material and low density material. Like carbon is low density, right? And you can put a high density like uh, iron and you combine together to make this kind of skewed biased coin right so this particular sack has got 50 percentage of fair coins while other 50 are biased coins so what is this biased coin means these coins have got 75 percentage chance that it will land on head right so you have no idea which coin is biased which is normal coin 
So the SAC has lots of coin, right? You simply pick one coin, right? And then you this do this coining, coin, uh, you know, toss test. Ten times you are tossing, and how many? How, what is your result? The outcome, and you have the data. The outcome is the result or data or outcome is like this. H H everything is hat. So just by looking this outcome, I can guess that the coin that you picked is fair or skewed, fair or biased. What is? What do you think? Is it fair or is it biased? Yeah, anyone can guess it. It it must be biased, right? Otherwise, how are you going to get like all head? You know, not a single tail, isn't it? So, but how do you prove it mathematically? So to prove it is actually simple. To get this data, what is the likelihood score, right? So for a uh, first explanation is that this is fair. So if all these are fair, each of these toss will be having 0.5, right? The percentage is, I mean, probability to get head. Had the coin been fair, it is 0.5. So 0.5, first toss is 0.5 and second toss is 0.5 and so each time you are putting and in probability you are multiplying right so 0.5 and means you are multiplying another 0.5 multiplied with another 0.5 that means basically 0.5 to the power 10 that is the likelihood score for my first explanation or model that the coin is fair now we have another explanation explanation number two is what coin is not fair coin is skewed so in this explanation that is our model number two how do you calculate the probability so for if had it been biased you know it is 0.75 percentage for the head right so every coin toss you are going to get 0.75 because it is head you know and second toss is again 0.75 and third is also 0.7 so you are multiplying all the way up to 10 times so 0.75 to the power 10 is our likelihood number 2. So how do you actually calculate this two score? 0.5 to the power 10 is 0 0.01 while biased model it is 0 0.56. So 0 0.01 versus 0 0.56 which is more maximum likelihood this. So that itself is a proof that this is likely the biased explanation is likely that the coin is biased. But don't stop there. Next step is likelihood ratio test. So which is very simple. You just take a ratio of these two 0.56 by 0 0.01. That is 56. So that means that this is 56 more likely. This explanation, isn't it? Now, after calculating this likelihood ratio test, LRT, you are converting that into the log. So log likelihood ratio that simply uh, multiply with natural logarithm. So uh, I mean, uh, to take the natural logarithm of this value. So if, if 56, natural logarithm of 56 is 4.02. So that is our log likelihood ratio. So how do you interpret this 4.02? Like threshold P value or threshold value, there is a threshold value for significance testing for, uh, you know, this maximum likelihood as well. So here the threshold value is 2. So anything above 2 is significant. So here, as you know, likelihood uh, uh, log likelihood ratios threshold is two. It's more than two. Therefore, you are concluding that the difference is significant. So that is the the formal mathematical way to to choose among the alternative uh, models. You know, through uh, uh, you know a hierarchical likelihood ratio test. So here the two models are very simple which i told you and as an example coin is fair or coin is biased similarly model one could be hky Hasegawa Krishnoyano, and model two could be felsenstein 81 f81 model so which model to choose from you can do the same test for that too you know so all these tests you can perform using computer and uh, this particular method of maximum likelihood which we will come across again is one of the commonly used method for phylogenetic inference or phylogenetic reconstruction method that means to construct the tree to build a phylogenetic tree this is a very very common method maximum likelihood method so it used to uh, you know to predict the most optimal tree with the tree with maximum likelihood out of uh, millions of tree topology possible 
each tree you're giving a, a likelihood score and we are choosing the one with the maximum likelihood score and of course uh, you are doing this likelihood ratio test everything you're it's inbuilt inside the algorithm so you don't have to much worry but you should know like what is actually happening inside this algorithm isn't it so maximum likelihood based selection of the best fitting model of nuclear substitution does hierarchical likelihood ratio test uh, the pairwise LRT for all this model you know that is how uh, ML based uh, substitution uh, you know selection methods work so in the mega 5 or mega 10 whatever the software that you use uh, all you have to do is that once you open up this your data uh, and then open phylogenetic analysis then you will be loaded the data into the main frame right so the data is already there otherwise you will not see the closed data right once it's loaded you have to click the model and then click the first option find best dna or protein models just click the first option then second option will come nothing to do just click here compute by the way just check it out what is actually happening here model selection is what the test is and the tree to use is neighbor joining tree which is basically the heuristic the first tree to start with they will use the nj tree no problem with just a starting ground right then they will expand the nodes to do the complete test the intricacies i don't want to discuss it's too complicated and then so gaps or missing is complete deletion and codon position all the codon and non-coding sites you are taking right so just accept the default delimiters and just click here compute and when you click compute that you know the test will be you know processing from 0 to 100 percentage and uh, you know you uh, then uh, you know preparing display and finally you'll be presented with a table and ready to look at the table you know so table is already arranged such a way that the first model is the most optimal model so you can see so many kinds of models here and the second column is parameter so the models you can see some model tn 93 plus g see gamma parameter this tn 93 plus g plus i invariable so some has got plus g some has got plus g plus i while some doesn't have g but only i i means invariable sites so all these are the models which we already you know we discussed in the last module right t93 k2 t92 uh, you know hky gtr hky jc simple model juke scanner isn't it and the second column here is that parameters you know the degree of freedom that can change isn't it how many parameters so that that is kind of an estimate of how complicated a model is i, I told you gtr is really complicated you can see that here gtr plus g is 28 gtr plus i is again 28 gtr plus g plus i is 29 very complicated but that is not the optimal the optimal one is more simple you know so that is uh, that is the uh, idea of this particular so ln l is what you have to look and you should choose with the one with the lowest ln l score you know uh, so basically minus 4050 zero, zero, then all those things right so yeah uh, it's already arranged in such a way the aic means a kayak information criterion bic is by bayesian information criterion so i mean a simple thing is that you just choose the first one so the first one is the most optimal which has got the maximum likelihood score that is what it means